For months, Yemen's Houthi rebels have been waging war against commercial ships. Their campaign was deadly on Wednesday, when a missile killed several seafarers aboard the True Confidence. It's the first death since the militant group started their attacks. The naval forces of the Yemeni armed forces carried out a targeting operation against the True Confidence in the Gulf of Aden with a number of suitable naval missiles. The hit was accurate, thanks to God, which led to a fire breaking out. The targeting operation came after the ship's crew rejected warning messages from the Yemeni naval forces. The Barbados-flagged and Liberian-owned vessel was struck by a missile while traveling through the Gulf of Aden. Greek operators say the ship was drifting ablaze some 50 nautical miles southwest of the Yemeni ports of Aden. Some 20 crew members and three armed guards were on board. Both the U.S. and Britain have been carrying out retaliatory strikes against the Houthis, who say they are attacking ships in solidarity with Palestinians in the war in Gaza. Wednesday's fatalities could further escalate tensions. The United States will continue to hold the Houthis accountable for their attacks, which have not just uh, disrupted international commerce, not just disrupted the freedom of navigation in international waters, uh, and not just endangered seafarers, but now tragically killed uh, a number of them. So we will continue to uh, hold them accountable, and we call on governments around the world to do the same. The Houthis' assault on the Red Sea has upended global shipping, forcing vessels to take more lengthier and costlier journeys. Experts fear this could send a ripple effect of higher costs throughout the global economy.